In this tutorial, what I'm going to review is how to use the selection tools in Adobe Photoshop CS3. The first two that I'm going to focus on specifically in this tutorial is the Move tool and the Marquee tool. Now, we also have the Lasso tool and the Quick Selection tool. I'm going to save those for the next tutorial. Uh, so let's look first at the Move tool. The Quick Selection key is the letter V. That would save us a lot of time. Um, it basically allows you to move objects or selections, resize them, rotate them. Um, and the best way to do this is to make sure that in the options panel, you have show transform controls checked. If not, you won't be able to do it very quickly. Um, so let's look at the rectangular marquee tool. If you hold down, there's some other options here. Elliptical marquee, single, single column. They all behave the same way. They just create different shapes. So I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool here. Um, if you have yours set, it'll probably be at normal and it'll probably be on new selection. And so we'll just take a look at some of these different selections here. We have new selection, add to selection, subtract from selection, and intersect with selection. New selection um, just makes a new selection. If we do, um, this is add to selection. Okay, so I can just simply add to it. Now, if we just hold down shift, the shift button while we make a selection that will also add to it. Then there's subtract from the selection so I can just subtract those. Um, you can also just hold down the alt button while you make selections. And then there's intersect so anything that intersects will get selected. Okay to deselect is a control button and the letter D. And let's just select this once again. Now I'm going to use my Move tool. And you can see that I have these uh, little anchor points that come up. Now if I turn off the Show Transform Controls, you'll see now I can't grab it. Or I, I wouldn't be able to resize it. So if I go ahead and try and resize it, it won't let me. It'll let me move it, but that's about it. So i got to make sure that... I turn that on in order to resize. Now if you hold down the shift button while you do that, it'll keep it proportional. Um, you can also rotate to move it to the outside of one of the corners. So you can it upright. Anytime you resize or rotate um, a selection, it won't let you do anything until you go back to the move tool and click on it and ask you to apply the transformation. If you like it, just go ahead and click apply. If you don't like it, click don't apply. And then click apply. Now the other way that you could do it, if you know for sure you like it, you can just click on the selection. Another one of the options for the marquee tool that I want to show you is the different styles. We have normal, which just allows you to create um, all kinds of different size shapes. It's more freehand. Um, it's more freehand and allows you to kind of create the shape that you want. Uh, fixed ratio, I like to think of it in terms of 100%. So if you want the width at 40% and the height at 60 this will give us a wide box or a tall box. And you can see that it keeps your selection constrained to those proportions. I probably use that option the least. Uh, fixed size is useful. Let's say we wanted a perfect square of 300 pixels by 300 pixels. I just click once and it makes that selection. Now, and with the selection tool, I want to show how we can move that to another layer. So we can go to Layer, New, and we can do Layer via Copy or Cut. Let's do a Copy. 
And what you'll be able to see now in our layers palette is we have a new layer. I'm going to hide this one just so we can see what's on there. That selection that I had made is on there. So now if I go to my move tool, it selects it and I can do whatever I want with it. Okay, and there you go. There is how we use the move tool and the marquee tool and a couple of the options. Uh, I enjoy your feedback, so please give some comments. Thanks.